Welcome to PCB Heaven Tech Labs. In this video, I will show you the first part of my next project. This project is a USB on-off switch controlled by a smart card. I will use this switch to lock and unlock the four USB ports of my PC, two of which I use for my keyboard and mouse. In other words, the keyboard and mouse as well as any other external USB device will only operate as long as the correct smart card is in the reader slot. The first and most difficult part is the smart card reader. I will be using some old and expired telephone cards as keys. In my website you can find a complete and detailed article in which I explain how these telephone cards operate. Additionally, you will find a very simple circuit with 4x20 LCD display which reads these smart cards and show its data on the LCD screen. For the reader, I use only SMD components because I want to solder the reader slot directly on the PCB and this slot will occupy the complete side. I use the microchip PIC 16F1939 microcontroller in a tiny QFN package. There are four connectors on the PCB. This connector is used for the red and green bicolor LED. This LED turns green if the correct card is in the slot and turns red if the wrong card is in the slot. This connector is the serial interface with a USB switch. I will be using a bidirectional analog switch from analog devices with a 4-wire interface. This connector comes from an open collector transistor driver and the 5 volts supply, able to deliver up to 300 mA of current. I will use this to arm a relay which will deliver power to the USB ports. And finally, this connector is for the 5 volts power supply. There are three push buttons to do the memory operations and four green LEDs to indicate each memory position. Here is how the controller works. First of all, we need to add at least one card to the EEPROM memory of the controller. To do so, I push the first button for about 3 seconds to go into the add mode. When the LED turns green, I release the button. Then, with the second push button, I choose in which memory position I want to save the card. Then I put the card into the slot and push the third push button for about 1 second and the card is stored into the current memory position. Up to 4 cards can be stored into the EEPROM memory. You cannot override a memory position which already has a card stored. To do so, first you need to clear this position. To clear one memory position, I push the first button for about 3 seconds to go into the ADD mode and keep it pressed for another 2 seconds to go into the delete mode. In this mode the LED turns red. With the second push button I then choose which memory position to clear. Only memory positions with stored cards can be deleted. Then I push the third button for about 1 second and the current memory position is cleared. To cancel any of the previous operations, I press the first button for about 1 second and go back to the standby mode. If all memory positions are occupied and I try to add another card, then the LED will turn green and all four memory LEDs will flash some 8 times to indicate that the memory is full. If on the other hand all memory positions are empty and I try to delete one memory position, the same will happen but the LED will turn red. 
when a valid card is inserted into the reader slot, the LED turns green and the relay is armed to provide power to the USB ports and a serial signal is then generated at the serial interface to enable the USB plus and minus data wires. Additionally, one of the four memory LEDs turn on to indicate in which memory position this card is stored. If the card is removed, then the relay turns off and another serial signal is generated to turn the USB data wires off. The same happens if an invalid or unknown card is inserted and the LED turns red. At any time, I can check the memory status by pressing the second memory button for some 2 seconds. The LED will then flash quickly green. If a memory position is occupied, the corresponding memory LED will lit to indicate it. When I release the button, the memory status mode ends and I go back to the standby mode. Finally, I can clear the whole EEPROM memory with one move. First, I enter the memory status mode by pressing the second push button for some 2 seconds. When I enter the memory status mode, I press simultaneously the third push button for some 3 seconds. The LED will then flash red and all memory LEDs will flash as well, indicating that I am about to clear the whole EEPROM memory. If I keep the two buttons pressed for another 3 seconds, an LED animation will indicate that the EEPROM is successfully cleared. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to visit my website for more interesting projects.